to see. This is Coin 6 News at 4 o'clock. I'm Jennifer Hoff. And I'm Ben Tilkin. We know that man was swept off the rocks near the seawall in Depot Bay just before noon today. A Coast Guard chopper has been searching for the man all afternoon, but they have not been able to launch the boats because the waves are just too high, just too dangerous. Witnesses say that man went over the seawall to look at the ocean. That's when he was hit by a wave. Despite the search, the man who's believed uh, to be between 20 and 30 years old has not been seen since. And then a woman was hurt by a log when it was hit by a sneaker wave, and then she was hit on the beach near Lincoln City this morning. The woman was walking on the beach at Rhodes End with friends when that big wave rolled that log on top of her. So she has a leg injury and went to the local hospital for treatment. Her friends weren't hurt. Big waves from the storm surge ruptured a gas line at a local restaurant in Lincoln City. Kylo's next to the D River Beach had to be evacuated. The gas company was able to shut the gas off. Now we have live team coverage on this dangerous weather. Our chief meteorologist Natasha Stenbach is tracking the storm. But first we want to go to Eileen Park where there is flooding in Pacific City. Eileen? Yeah, Jennifer, all day we've been watching these incredibly powerful and violent waves take over Cape Kiwanda. The swell is actually expected to produce up to 45 foot breaking waves through tonight. Well, the concern with this dangerously high surf are those sneaker waves that can surprise anyone walking on the beach, which is why beach access has been closed here at Cape Kiwanda until further notice. Emergency officials in the past explained that people have died because of those waves, as well as debris. Debris that unexpectedly unexpectedly struck them. We saw many people visiting Cape Kiwanda today watching from a safe distance. Here's how they feel about these powerful waves. It turned out to be a better day than I had ever anticipated. It's just amazing what you can see. Oh, look at this. Oh my God. There's like three sets of waves on top of each other coming towards us. The violent waves making for great pictures for these photographers. They tell me they haven't seen surf like this in years. Now, the coastal flood warning will be in effect until midnight. So if you do plan on coming out to storm watch, make sure you're watching from a very safe distance. Live from Cape Kiwanda, I'm Aline Park. Back to you. And the power is absolutely extraordinary. All right, let's get